Got mama out with the pups. Uh, I think it might be might be the second time she's been out with him. But just get y'all, let y'all see him with her. See how she act with puppy. She been a, she been a good mama, so <clears throat> I really ain't worried about her. It's a tank. But she looking real good at the puppies too. I mean, it been a little minute, but I mean, she usually do bounce back. She use, she give her all and she bounce back pretty good. So I ain't really worried about her. Or really, rather any female that we take care of, cause we pretty much get the puppies off of them kind of early. Uh, if y'all not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. Uh, this is Tony at Dynasty Bulls. Um, but yeah, we usually don't really worry about our females too much, cause we take we take a lot of care while she uh, nursing them too. So go ahead. So they they pretty much bounce back pretty good. Uh, if y'all saw um, our first couple of litters here, at least under the Dynasty Bulls name. With a uh, spice, she used to bounce back pretty good too. So, I guess we got a pretty good system going as far as with uh with bitch. Excuse my language, even though that's not really a, a bad term in the dogs, but uh, this their first time getting out. So, usually in the morning we try to take them on, take them straight on out. Um, because right now it's a little cool, so we got them outside in the kennel overnight, and then we wake them. Well, not wake them up, but they wake up out in the fresh air and um you know not just in some congestion that you getting used to the outside sounds and all the stuff that going out here that way it's, it's it's a semi desensitization desensitizing for them um that's a little buddy right there deny maze maze and buddy like my wife called them they twinkies they both look the same we got at least um Seems like we always had it, well, somewhere in the litter. We got uh ones that look alike. Because these two right here, the two lilacs look alike. They're just different colors. They both lilac. He just fun. So, and then it's Maze and Butter that look alike. And then it's Deny and the other other male that got his ears clipped. They look alike. But, yeah. um, Having them outside, they start off in the morning with their vitamin D. Which is, you know, it's always helpful. Any vitamin basically is, is helpful for them. So we try to give them a bunch of vitamin D in, which is beneficial with us and and uh in the dog. So I mean, which obviously with the past pandemic, obviously, it's um it's beneficial if you didn't know before. But we got this girl tied out still. Um she coming along real good too. I'm liking how she ended up developing, man. Uh, she really popped in a month. A month after getting her. I also got shorter tied out, too. Just getting them a little little sunlight and a little exercise where they can run around in a circle. Um, I know you don't see in the shade, but it's real cool right now. I got a jacket on. Um, I ain't going to turn the camera around because my head a little nappy. <laughs> but believe me, I got a jacket on. Well, matter of fact, I got the sleeves rolled up a little bit. Cause I've been out here cleaning the killings this morning. So I mean ain't much going on today, man. As usual. Just chilling, man. I know it ain't really a chill thing with breeding dogs and stuff, but I mean I try to try to make it as chill as I can because I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do something that's stressing me out all day every day. So Okoye. But uh like I say, man, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow us on Instagram. You get more exclusive pictures and stuff. Uh everybody on that except this girl right here. Because, I mean, y'all basically get, like I said, y'all get the exclusive on here, too. And my people that follow me on Instagram get the exclusive pictures. Y'all get to see, they get to see the pictures more so. And then what's, what's up and coming. If I ain't just making a video about it. I be trying to make videos as much as possible, but at the same time, sure, I'll be busy. Trying to, you know, do other stuff. We got a lot of studs locked in. Still be trying to stay in tune with the game a little bit. And see, uh, see what's going on with the studs we use. That's the only time I really get on social media to try to make sure I, I can keep up with the studs and ain't no make sure ain't no drama or no BS going on. Make sure I still want to use that dog or whatever. Or deal with that, that person that got the dog. But And at the end of the day, if you need that blood, it don't really matter about the owner. Which I've learned. You're going to learn about the man's though. <laughs> which I've learned as far as breeding lately. Well, in the recent years. Um... You ain't got to get along with the stud owner. 
if you need that, especially if you need that blood in your yard or you need that, that gene or whatever, stop them genetics. Um, you don't have to be in, you don't have to be in love with the damn stud on them. You just I mean it's all business at the end of the day. I mean this this ain't just in the bullet breed, this in every breed, which I've learned with my you know the research I've been doing. So uh, but I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. I just wanted to let y'all see the see the puppies out with their mama and a little bit of stuff going on over here. That's one of my little favorite girls right there, man. Ready to get them ears gone. I like how they stand up, but I'm ready for them to be gone. There's just one less thing I got to worry about when she get older, or any of them, all of them. Come on. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> man, I love these puppies. Now, I can't wait for this next little, man. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. If you made it this far in the video, hopefully you did. Um, and it, I know a lot of my, well, I, I said in the next video, but I'm going to go ahead and say it now. Uh, a lot of people that watch the videos ain't actually subscribed to the channel. Uh, which I they probably watching my educational videos as far as like feeding feeding bullets and stuff And all that, you know the the main stuff that actually pop up when people looking looking at the bullets and stuff Which I'm probably I'm gonna get back to making a little bit more of them videos It's just I mean, I guess it's so much stuff we do on a regular you don't think about it, it's something to teach somebody Which I mean with me just out here talking it's still it's still teaching it's helping somebody so uh, I mean I do what I can but, I mean, I hope y'all enjoying these puppies as much as I am. Which, I mean, you probably not since they not with you. But I appreciate y'all for watching them. Uh, I guarantee you're going to love them as they get older because they're already thick, man. They're probably the thickest puppies we've had as far as consistently thick. But y'all have, have a good day, man. Uh, this is Tony time, signing out. Tony Dynasty Boys, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel, man. Y'all have a good one.